This is Palace House at Beauty, home of Lord Montague and his family. And this was his father's car. It's the 1925 Rolls-Royce Phantom One, the car that was made to replace the enormously successful Silver Ghost. And it's my great privilege to be driving it today. Swanning around on a sunny spring afternoon in an open top Rolls Royce is all very well and highly enjoyable. But this is no ordinary Rolls Royce, as Michael Ware, director of the National Motor Museum Trust, was keen to point out. Michael, what can you tell me about this car then? Well, this was a car that was owned by Lord Montague's father, uh, and when he died in 1929, uh, it, this family sold it. Uh, and it got lost. Um, obviously, people weren't very, very interested at that time in what was happening to old cars. Now, when the present Lord Montague uh, started the Montague Motor Museum in 1952, one of the things he was keen to do was to find his father's old car. And uh, after quite a lot of research, he discovered that it still existed, but the body had been taken off it and had been cut right down, and it was on a playing field in Somerset, on the Somerset School, being used to tow a set of gang mowers. Um, and he bought it and had it uh, restored as you see it today. Uh, he then discovered some other history of it, that during the war, this is when the body was actually taken off it, and they had a naffy wagon built on it, a naffy refreshment wagon built on it, though we're not quite certain where it went, whether it was only used in this country or whether it went abroad. Uh, and presumably after the war, the naffy wagon was taken off, and that's when it got uh, bought by the school just to act as a, if you like, as a tractor. Um, we sent it, Lord Montague then sent it to Leslie Willis, a retired coach builder, and the coachwork you see on it today is an almost exact replica of the coachwork, the Barker coachwork with which it was originally built. So although it's got a very careful owner now, you couldn't say it's a one careful owner car, could you? No, you couldn't. No, no, I think it had a hell of a time on the, on, on the, on the playing fields. Good, well I'm certainly enjoying driving it, so if you'll excuse me, I want to get back straight back to it now. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. I bet that school's gardener couldn't believe his luck when they gave him this to cut the grass with. There can be no denying though that it is a most elegant and restrained vehicle and it really is a delight to drive, even if it's a touch heavy at slow speeds. Progress up the Chestnut Avenue at Bewley is almost regal and its smooth, talky engine is a joy to pilot. However, all good things and drives come to an end and this car belongs in the cosseting environment of the museum. There, a chance to look in wonder on the six-cylinder, 7.6-litre, single carburetor engine capable of delivering approximately 100 brake horsepower and a top speed of between 75 and 80 miles an hour. This Rolls-Royce really is a very special car and one richly deserving of a place in the nation's treasure chest of motoring icons. <laughs>